Hello YouTube, Swordsman75 here, and I'm bringing you a commentary of Rush on Erica Harbor. I want to start off by giving a tip. Do not cut off your own team's tanks. It'll hurt. As you see, we get uh, flipped over in the Hummer. Wasn't fun. But uh, yeah guys, I got a game for you guys on Rush. Um, I cut out a good bit of the start of this game because it was basically uh, my team rolling through the enemy with really no problems. At the start of this game, we ended up um, hopping into tanks. We took uh, the first objective nice and easy. They didn't really offer any defense. We rolled down to the second. We took that really easy. And it was really just a lot of tank support and tank destruction and tank gunner. And it was just, uh, it was all bad for them. But I've had a few videos so far as of late that dealt with uh, tank support and destruction, so I figured I'd cut forward into the actual medic gameplay and working as a team on foot as infantry. Did you guys see how close those trail bullets came? I have no idea how I survived both of those shots. They were right there. Luckily, I uh, did not get taken out. I was able to stay up and bring up a teammate. In this game, I am playing with Savitar 13 and Lazy Boy Marksman. We are a three-man squad. And we worked very well this match. We ended up staying together for the most part, covering each other's flanks, watching the sides. Uh, we st uh, moved together, and Lazy Boy went in, set the charge. Uh, we thought it was clear. I came over to try to get support on to him, but I was taken out just after he was. But uh, it happens. Here, I spawned. Savitar's yelling, I got a quad. Hop on, hop on. I'll get us there. Come on, hop on. I'm like, all right. He takes off, and... Yeah anti-tank mine. I really should show people how to use those things. Seems like ever since I did that video I run into them all the time. I have no idea what these two were doing. They didn't, I don't know if they didn't realize we were enemy or what, but we just mowed them down. I accidentally defibbed the wrong body, which I seem to have a habit of doing. Does anyone else do that? When you're a medic you just panic or whatever and you want to get your teammate up fast so you accidentally click an enemy body instead of a teammate's. It happens to me a lot. And that three second cooldown on defibbing can seem like an eternity when you really need to get somebody up. Um, I wanted to give you guys a tip that I had gotten a couple of questions on lately and it was uh, how do you hear the teams, you know the audio that your, the MP, well not NPCs, but the other player characters will yell out and if you're not playing the American forces they'll yell out and say Russian or whatever and you really don't know what they're saying. It just could be gibberish to you if you don't understand that language. But if you go into your sound options and you change the settings of the voices to localized, you will then hear them speak your local language, in my case English. You'll just hear it with uh, the funny accents and stuff, which uh, really helps you out when you're playing on like the Russian side or whatever, and you got teammates that maybe aren't in your squad yelling their heads off and now you can actually understand them. It'll have a funny accent but you'll be able to understand that they're actually calling for health or they're calling for repairs or calling for a ride. And ever since I turned that on, it really made quite the difference understanding what the hell people were saying when I wasn't playing as the English speaking uh, nationalities here. So I just want to toss that out. I've gotten that a couple times so far and uh, hope that'll help you guys have some fun with that. Now, I wanted to touch on, when you play Rush, how it is to take care of your tickets. As you know, when you play Rush, you are limited when you're attacking as however many tickets you are. That's as, uh, that's as far as your team will go. If you run out of tickets before the objective at any given point is demolished, you will lose. And when you're attacking, you got to take care of these. Defending, not so much. You don't have to worry about them because you don't have any tickets. You just want to eliminate the other tickets. But you just playing a little bit smart can really help your struggling team turn, in, turn it into a win just by managing how you use your uh, tickets. Like, especially as a medic, it comes into a very crucial part of playstyle. Here I actually uh, got res by a teammate, he saved the ticket, and I uh, came up with his assault class so I powered on some C4 to try to help damage it, see if we can get it down faster. For a tip or if anyone that likes to use C4, it takes 12 sticks of C4 to destroy an MCOM station that's at full health. So if two players are using the specialization to have double the explosives, you can, uh, two guys can run down, put uh, 12 sticks on and two people can take out an MCOM station all by themselves if they uh, 
can get there for a few seconds and not be disturbed while they plant the C4. Just want to toss that out there. Now, like I said with playing a medic, you basically hold your ticket count in your hands. Every time someone gets killed, you lose a ticket. But if you revive them, the ticket comes right back. And it's it's always good to try to revive because there's only there's two things that can happen. You revive a person and they don't get shot and you've saved your team a ticket. Good. You revive a person, they get shot a couple seconds later and you're still down at the ticket. Which, oh well, you're exactly the same where you started. You could very well possibly uh, res them again and save a ticket yet again. Now the worst case scenario is when a teammate dies, you go out to revive them, and you get killed. There you were trying to do your job, admirably, but you ended up adding to the ticket loss by sacrificing yourself in a spot where you maybe shouldn't have, that it was too risky. And you will find that if you can work on knowing when to risk it and when not to risk it, it can be uh, a big help when you're attacking in order to save tickets. Now, I know we all get caught up when we all think we can play the hero. I like this uh, coming up here. I get another defib shot on a sniper. Man, I love it. He must have never thought I was going to turn around. Good stuff. It just always feels so good to take somebody down with a defib paddle. But yeah. When you're playing the medic, like, you always feel the hero. You think you can get them, you think you can save them. So, you'll be more in a rush, or perhaps more courageous to run out there to try to revive someone when you really shouldn't. And sometimes it's just not worth it, guys. Like, if you see a teammate get mowed down, when he crossed, when he went went around a corner or through a doorway, it may not be the best idea to walk through that same doorway or turn that same corner to go revive him because you could just add to another ticket loss, which will lead to your team's downfall faster. Now, when you're playing on a squad, you don't always need to have to revive them to help. Like, if you're deep into the enemy territory. Just staying alive and waiting for reinforcements can be one of the smartest things you can do in a given situation. If you can just hunker down safely and let your squad file back in, spawning on you, you'll build your reinforcements back up and then you guys can move out together as one to try and keep the momentum going. Like, if I'm here with Savitar and Lazy, and they get shot, but I'm not under a direct threat, like I'm behind cover, or maybe they didn't see me. I could run out to the open to res them. I could try to wait out, out there into the middle of it and take down whoever just killed them. Or if I'm in a good spot, I can wait, let them spawn, and then the three of us can go out there and try to work as a team all over again to see if we can uh, make some progress again. It's just these little subtleties that you pick up playing the medic class along the way that will really start to make a difference towards your team's performance and your squad's performance. I thought I'd be able to turn around and get that guy in time, but I was too slow, I guess. Not to worry. But just being an active spawn point deep in the enemy territory can a lot of times be more useful than resing a teammate in a bad situation again. If someone died right out here, and I think... Uh, he does or I do soon. Like It's just better to have your team spawn in on you so that way you guys can get out there and keep going at it again. Try to play smart, try to conserve your tickets, and don't just walk out there to your own death. It's just uh, further providing suicide. Lazy Boys pushed in. We had been uh, held down here, but he managed to get up there, and he actually planted the bomb. So we're trying to file up to help him. I fire off a couple shots, duck down, and I'm heavily damaged, so I threw my med kit, I'm trying to revive, see a guy, so I pick him off, trying to just keep the flow of reinforcements up there to that bomb site down. Oh, that guy stabs me, but I think him coming to kill me cost his team this base, because in the time it took for him to come over to me to kill me, he probably could have got up there and defused that, but he killed me, I guess I was a uh, active distraction, and... The bomb went off. They did not defuse it. Um, this whole game, it was my squad of three. 
working with another squad that was uh, actually heavily pushing up and setting bombs and defending, which was a uh, nice touch. To have two active squads playing the objective and playing smart. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed this. Just uh, when you're playing a medic, give it some thought to ticket management, guys. It'll help. Take care, guys.